fracking, and I'm wondering, will you pledge to not um, use fracking if you become president? No, and I'll tell you why. Why? Because there are some parts of the country where it can be done safely, where you can control the methane, we have to have every chemical disclosed, we have to make sure that local communities can say no, but we can't totally say never under any circumstances. We have to move away from fossil fuels. Well, that's my plan. That's what I've laid out. I have a much more comprehensive plan about how we take the money from the oil and gas lobby and put it toward clean renewable energy. That's what I'm going to do. Fracking does, you lose a lot of water in the earth. Yeah, I, I, I lose the water. There's well, a lot of there are, about fracking. And in order to keep our That's why climate. local communities should be able to say no. Local communities are saying no, and they should be able to say no. Well, I want you to know that as a young supporter, I support Bernie because he's against fracking. Well, I think a lot of the young supporters with me, you know what? That is your right. Yeah. It is your right. But if, as President of the United States, if we had an emergency, an energy emergency, it would be a very difficult thing if we had to shut down every single opportunity to create domestic energy. I don't think that will happen, but as president, I have to think about every possible contingency to keep our country safe, to keep the economy growing, to give people of all ages, especially young people, jobs. So I'm going to do everything I can to limit it and prevent it from ever hurting, but I think we have to be a very clear view about what will work and what won't work. I and I know he, he is very, uh, you know, he's against a lot of things. And